guys, in today's video, we're going to see how to make a 3D maze in Scratch. So let's get started. So let's create a player. So we are going to be the player, as in we are going to be in the perspective of the player. So now let's create our 2D maze. So for the maze, we don't want any fill, we want the outline to be thick. We have to make sure the maze is in the center. And we're going to make some gaps for the player to come out. And we're going to program the player to be inside the maze. And we're also going to create another sprite. This sprite is going to be Pathfinder. Or Distance Finder. Now we don't want this distance finder to be seen. And we're also going to put the distance finder in the middle of the maze. Now we're going to program the sprite or the player. Now we're going to program the player.
So now you can see it's working. So now we want the distance finder to follow the player. I'm also going to broadcast every time we make a movement to the distance finder. So now we're going to program the distance finder when it receives fine distance from the player. I'm also going to make a list. So what this piece of code does is the distance finder goes to the player and it, and it sets its angle the same as the player, then adds minus 50 to it. So what this piece of code does is the distance finder goes to the player and it sets its direction as same as the player and it finds every possibility of um, getting hit by the wall of the maze or going out of the maze. So I'm going to show you what it does. So you don't need to add 
pen to this. Uh, I'm just explaining for this. So all of this is slow. And I'm going to show you a way to make this a bit quicker. So go to my blocks and type um, find distance. And you have to press this bit here, run without screen refresh. So now let's test it. Now I'm going to program the painter. So this painter is going to convert the maze into a 3D maze. And for the painter, you need to click run without screen refresh. The width of the screen is 480, which is negative 240 to 240. For the pen color, I'm going to give it blue. You can give yours whatever color you want. We're going to set count to one because all distance is starting with one. So now we have finished the painter's program and now we want to command the painter to draw. So we're going to broadcast the painter to draw. And when the painter receives draw, it draws. So let's test our program. Item one in both sections. Instead of count, then you need to put count. So now let's try again. So now you need to now we now we want this maze to be gone now. So what we can do for that is set them both to ghost effect.
okay guys i i hope you had fun doing this project i'm also going to put this project in the link in the description and you can also remix this project i'm going to name this project may 3d maze Hey guys, hope you had fun. If you'd like more of these projects, you can also go and watch my platformer series. I'll put a video in the link in the descriptions.